Hey guys, I have here my JBL Live 460NC wireless headphones and in this video I want to explain to you how to replace the battery on these headphones so in case your battery dies or doesn't charge as well as you used to then you can replace the battery here and it pretty much works for all models of the JBL Live series. Okay, so the battery is located in the left ear cup. So that's the one with the L on the inside and usually also the one that has here the charging port. And in order to get access to the battery, we have to first remove a couple of screws. So the first two screws that we find here are right at the top. So when we turn the ear cup, then you see here this triangle shaped screw here. See this? And then there's a second one here on the inside. So most people don't really have a screwdriver in that particular shape, but you can alternatively just use a simple small flathead screwdriver that fits in there. See this? It doesn't have the uh, triangle shape. It just fits right into the slot there and you can twist out the screw just like that. So we don't really need the specific screwdriver here. And we're going to repeat the same thing on the inside as well. So this one is a little bit more tricky because it's harder to get to, but uh, eventually we will manage to get that one out as well. For the next part, we need a small prying tool and I'm going to use here my Swiss army knife. You see this uh, part where you have the file on it. This worked out perfectly for me. So I'm just using here the tip of that piece and we're going to pry off this silver ring. So that's actually a separate part that is attached to the rest of the ear cup. And you're going to see there's this really small tiny gap between this white ring that goes around and then the silver ring. And you can just carefully get your prying tool in there. And eventually you are going to uh, get this in and underneath of that silver ring. You see this? Right now I have my prying tool here right underneath there and I'm sl slowly and carefully working my way around and there's uh, going to be three clips that hold the silver ring in place and you really want to be uh, working around the entire ring really carefully not to break it or not to cause any damage to the ring or any of the plastic pieces because they are you know, a little bit fragile so you see how I'm working my way around and also notice that this plastic ring is glued into position at a couple of different spots so we're going to see those uh, glue spots in a second so just carefully work your way around. Don't use too much force. You see right now at the very top here, I have more glue than anywhere else. So I'm really carefully trying to remove that glue here. And then eventually you get this entire ring loose. You see here, this is where you see the uh, small three clips here that hold this ring in position. And now we can see here four more small Phillips screws here in those tiny holes there. But before we can remove those, we can detach here the small white ring. This one really is easy to remove. There's just a little bit of glue here that holds this in position. And then as I said before, now we can remove those four small Phillips screws. Okay, so now we're almost at the battery. Now we can just simply remove the outside cover here by the seam that we see now. And you have to be really careful when you remove the outside cover because there's a bunch of wires. So there's all the cables that go to the battery itself. And then there's also the small ribbon cable here on the bottom that goes to the uh, touch sensor that you have on the outside of the ear cup. Do you, do you see this here down there? So this is rather short, so that would be really easy to accidentally tear off. Now you can either detach the ribbon cable or you just hold the outside cover of the ear cup just like this and then I'm using here my uh, Swiss army knife again and I'm going to pry out the old battery. So this is held in place by uh, some double sided tape and you want to detach that real carefully because in the center of the battery there's another PCB underneath and also on the bottom remember that's where the small ribbon cable is going along so you don't want to accidentally uh, damage that. So now you see here, I can already remove the battery. I'm going to take a look at the type of the battery so you know which part here to order. Also, when I find a link to a fitting battery, then I'm going to post that in the comment section below. And when it comes to now replacing the battery itself, we can see here that the 
wires here are soldered right onto the PCB here. So you can either unsolder those wires directly on the PCB or I suggest just to uh, cut, a, cut off the wires here relatively close to the battery. And then when you have your new battery you just solder the uh, wires of the new battery together with the old wires here and then that will work just as well. And then it's best if you use some new double sided tape and if you don't have that then maybe you can try to peel off the old one here from the old battery and reuse that if it's still sticky enough. And then we can already put the new battery here in position. Just glue it here on the, the outside shell. It should right fit into this little square here. And then just to cover this topic here, sometimes people ask for the dimensions of the old battery here. So this is about uh, one and a quarter inch square. So here you see this both sides one and a quarter inch. And then the battery is about uh, two eighths of an inch thick. Okay, so now we can already reassemble everything. Uh, the first thing we have to do when we put the cover back on is make sure that there's no, none of those wires are here in the way and pinching and getting pinched. And then just put uh, the four screws back in. Then when we reattach the small plastic ring, look for those three holes and the three pins on that ring. So line those up that the ring fits right. And then we have the bigger plastic ring, the silver ring. Also here you have the three uh, tiny clips that are supposed to go into the holes. If you want to, then you can also add some glue underneath there if you want to make sure that it never falls off. But I don't think that's really necessary. Usually the clips just hold this ring in place just right. Just make sure you uh, press it on all the way. And we should be able to get this on without leaving any traces here. And then the last step is the two screws on the top, of course. Remember the one with the triangle head? Yeah, and then we are already done and let's try it out. We should be able to uh, power up our headphones again and they also should start ch charging normally again. And this is already it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.